crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bill Chittenberg, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Pretending this piece of wood is a boat on the ocean. I had a dream about a boat last night. I was the brave captain. I saw another boat tip over and the passengers fell in the water. <gasps> so I pulled them out with my life preserver. Brilliant! Hooray for Scoop, the brave sea captain. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, team. Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. We have an important job today. The big glass lens in the lighthouse needs changing. <gasps> that means we get to be by the shore. Come on! Wow! The ocean is so cool! Morning, all. I trust everything is in hand for this job, Bob. Of course, Mr. Bentley. Have a look at the plans with us. First, we'll take out the old lens through these doors. Then, we'll lower it down to the ground. Wow! There's a boat out at sea. It could be a pirate ship. Or a sailboat with a brave captain. And Scoop, you can pick up the special fixings for the new lens. Packer should have dropped them off at the yard by now. Okay, Scoop? To pick up the special fixings? Um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, um, pick up the fixings. Uh, no problem, Bob. Uh, can we fix it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Pick up the fixings. <laughs> Easy. Except I don't know where they are. Scoop! Hi! What are you looking for, partner? Gripper, do you have the fixings for the lighthouse lens? Sorry, partner. They're not here. Oh. Oh, well, okay. Thanks. Oh, maybe I should have listened a little better. Ah, Scoop. Off to collect the fixings from Bob's yard, are you? Oh! They're at... Bob's yard. Yes. That's what Bob said this morning. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, see you later. Phew. They're here. I better get back before Bob realizes I didn't listen. Thanks, Scoop. Look, Scratch, the ocean's so big and blue. It's hmm. just like in we'll my dream. We'll need a special tool to fix captain. these clamps in place, the Bob. Boat, There's one in the workshop. The can you get it, please, Scoop? As way. fast as you can. So Splash will be here the with a new lens in. soon. And then I pulled them out of the water. Scoop? Huh? Can you get me the tool to fit these from the workshop, please? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, no problem, Bob. <laughs> Okay, let's get the old lens out. Go easy, partner. It's very fragile. Yeah, partner. It's made of glass, so it'll break real easy. No worries. I'll be really careful. Bob the Splasher, where are you? Loaded and on me way, Bob. Tell the others to watch out for me. This lens is really fragile. I will, Splasher. See you soon. Okay, I've got Bob's special tool. 
Mr. Mockney, what are you doing? Well, hello, young Scoop. I'm reading a book my great-grandfather wrote all about the ocean. Ocean? Show me! Look, one day my great-grandfather saw a glass bottle in the ocean. It had a letter in it. The bottle was heading for the rocks. If it hit them, it would smash and he would never find out who the letter was from. <gasps> what happened next? Wendy to Scoop. Come in, Scoop. Oh, uh, hi, Wendy. Where are you? Bob said to get back quickly. We need that tool. Quickly? Oh, uh, sorry, Wendy. I, uh, I didn't hear. I'm, I'm coming now. Uh, I have to go, David. But you must hear the end of the story, Scoop. Uh, okay, but we better be quick. <clears throat> so, moments before the bottle hit the rocks, my great-grandfather jumped into the water and rescued it. Cool! So, who was the letter from? A brave captain lost at sea. Wow! I had a dream last night that I was a brave sea captain. And, and still, one day, I forgot. I saw another Watch boat out for Splasher. And all the he has the new lens, the and it's very so I fragile. My boat Bye. Next to the other one, and I pulled all the people out of the water and rescued them. <laughs> what a fabulous dream, Scoop! But uh, you'd better go now. Oh, yeah. Um, bye, David. Nearly there. One land safely delivered. Woohoo! Wendy said to get back quickly, and you don't get much quicker than this. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ow! Oh, no! Scoop! Splasher! What happened? I... I was going too fast. And I didn't see Splasher. But didn't Wendy say to be careful on the way back? Oh, um, she might have, but I wasn't listening. I'm really sorry, Bob. Oh, goodness gracious. This is most unfortunate. Don't worry, Mr. Bentley. Maybe Lofty can hook it out. Oh, uh, I'll try. <laughs> I can't reach it! Oh, no! Hey! Maybe Splasher could push it onto the beach! Good idea! Go, Splasher! Go, Go on, Splasher! Splasher. 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 Keep going, Splasher! Oh, no! The lens is heading for those rocks! It'll smash! Splasher! The rocks! Oh, oh, oh no! I can't stop it! If only I'd listened to Wendy instead of David's story. But at least I know what to do. Yes! I saved it! Just like Mr. Mockney's great-grandfather saved the bottle! Yay! My goodness, that was close. I messed up a lot today because I didn't listen. I'm never going to not listen again. Ah, no worry, Scoop. Well, the lens is safe now, so let's get it fitted. Now the lighthouse can do its job, guiding ships at night. Yay! We did it! No thanks to me. Uh, but Scoop, you did make a real sea rescue today, just like in your dream. Oh, you're right, Scratch. I am a brave sea captain after all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name's Scratch. I'm new on Bob's team. But it's okay, because I've got lots of new friends to help me. This friend is the same color as his door. And he's really good at digging. And... Scratch, should I come out yet? Uh, oh! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yes, please! Yes! Here he is. It's Scoop! Scoop's a digger, just like me. 
<laughs> when Bob's not around, he sometimes leaves Scoop in charge. Yeah, I'm pretty good at being in charge. Yes, except when he makes mistakes. Uh, yeah, except then. Come on, Scoop. Let's show everyone what you do best. Okay, Scoop's a digger, so what he does best is... Dig! Uh, yes, but I think you're supposed to dig here. Oh, uh, okay. Luckily, Scoop's not just good at digging holes. He's good at filling them in, too. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Scratch. Oh, oh, what's that thing you always say? Uh, you mean, no prob, Bob? Yes! Let's all say it together. Ready? No, no prob, Bob! Bob. <laughs> thanks, Scoop. And thank you, too. See you soon when we'll meet one of my other friends. Bye! Morning, team! We're off to the beach today to build a new cafe at the surf school. So Brad Rat conserves snacks and drinks to the surfers. Brad Rat! He's so cool! So let's go! Hi, everybody! I'm psyched you're all here. <laughs> that means excited. I wish I could say cool things like Brad. You can, Scratch. But first, you need to listen to Bob. So, first we'll lay the foundations. <laughs> then we'll build the walls and roof. And last of all, we'll add the awning and tables and chairs. <laughs> then we'll have a beach party. Yay! Yay! I'm psyched about the party, Brad. Thanks, Scratch. <laughs> You're one cool little dude. Oh, Brad said I'm cool. Let's get started. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Oh, yeah, I think so. <sighs> okay, listen up, Surf Cafe Cats. For the opening party, I'm making my special pineapple salad. And then I'll call everyone here by blowing my conch shell. It makes the coolest sound ever. Except, I seem to have lost my pineapple and my conch shell. Oh no! Now the party won't work! Big breath, relax, and think. Big breath, relax, and think? Oh yeah. That's how to be cool and figure out what to do. I know! I left them at Mr. Bentley's house. Oh, I'll give them for you, Brad. It's a long way on your own, Scratch. Do you know the way? It's simple, Scratch. Over the bridge, past the harbor, through the town square to Mr. Bentley's house on the corner. Yeah, over the bridge, past the harbor, through the square, and Mr. Bentley's house is on the corner. Well, okay. But if you get lost, just ask someone. I'm sure I won't get lost, Bob. I'm cool. Over the bridge, past the harbor, through the square. There you go, Scratch. One pineapple and one conch shell. Now, to get back to the town square, you simply... Oh, I know. I'm cool. Oh, well, uh, okay then. Now, no, uh, oh, it looks kind of different going the other way. Uh, I could ask Mr. Bentley, but no, I'm cool. It's this way. Yes, the town square. Awesome. Now, I think I go this way. What? How did I end up at the soccer field? 
Oh, I hope I'm not lost. Being lost isn't cool. Huh. Scratch is taking his time, Bob. Yes, Wendy. But he's only a little late, and he'll ask someone if he gets lost. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Ah! Oops! <sighs> Sorry, Mrs. Choosy. Are you all right, dear? Yeah, I'm not lost. I'm cool, because I have a pineapple and conch shell for Brad Rad. Well, do you know how to get to the beach? Mm-hmm. Uh, I better go. Thank you. Awesome! <gasps> the hover! So, next it's, um... The bridge! And then the beach! <laughs> I am still cool. Oh, but, uh, did I go over the bridge or past it? Over it or past it? Uh, pass it! Hey, Bob, Wendy, uh, shouldn't little dude Scratch be back by oh. now? Yes. I'll call Mr. Bentley. Hello, Bernard Bentley speaking. Hi, Mr. Bentley. It's Bob. Has Scratch left yet? Oh, yes, Bob. Quite some time ago now, I tried to tell him the way back, but he assured me he was, uh, cool. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mr. Bentley. Bye. I think Scratch may have gotten lost. We better look for him. The theater? Oh, no. I am lost. Now Brad won't be able to make a special pineapple salad or blow his conch shell or anything. <gasps> I'm so not cool. Now, I can't remember exactly which way Scratch went, Bob. But he did seem in kind of a hurry. Oh, Bob, I can't have a party without my cool little buddy Scratch. Oh, I should have asked the way like Bob said. Oh, what would Brad do? Brad, Brad would... Take a big breath, relax, and think. Yes. Take a big breath, <gasps> relax, and think. Okay, what did I do? I left the beach, I went past the lighthouse, over the bridge. <gasps> yes, over the bridge. So I just have to go back over the bridge to get to the beach. Hello, Scratch. Have you come up here to see me at the theater? Dickie Olivier, no, I, uh, I got lost. But I'm going to ask you the way. Can you please tell me how to get to the bridge? Of course, Scratch. Take this road all the way down, stay to the right, and you'll be there. Thank you. My pleasure, dear boy. Hello! I'm back! Oh, no! They've all gone! I'll just see if he's come back. You're back! Oh, uh, and you're okay! Awesome! I'm so sorry. I thought I was cool, but I just got lost and worried. But then I remembered how to be cool. How, little dude? I took a big breath, <gasps> relaxed, and had to think. And asked Mr. Olivier how to get back. Being cool is about relaxing and thinking. And sometimes, it's about asking for help, too. Good job, Scratch. And now we're all here. Let's finish this cafe. Good work, everybody. The Surf School Cafe is finished. And my special pineapple salad's ready, too. Hooray! <laughs> Now, I just need someone really cool to blow the conch shell. How about you, Scratch? Me? Yeah, you're the coolest little dude I know. 
<laughs> I'd be psyched to, Brad. <gasps> Radical! <laughs> Again. There are lots of other machines here, too. One of them lives in here. <laughs> it's Muck! Yeah, that's me, Muddy Muck! Muck isn't just a digger. She's a dumper, too. She can pick things up with her scoop and dump them in her dumper. But digging and dumping's not what you're best at. What? Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it isn't. You're best at something else. Something we need the machine wash for. Oh, yeah! I know what you mean. Let's get muddy! <laughs> I love it when Muck says that. Let's all say let's get muddy together. Ready? Let's, Let's get, get muddy! That was really good! Ha ha ha! Yeah, but it's made me want to do it! You want, Muck? Whoa! Get muddy, of course! Now I better get clean. So I can get muddy all over again! Ha 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 ha! That was Muck! Next time, we'll meet another one of my friends. I wonder who it'll be. Bye! Morning, Scoop. Lofty, we're going to need your help today at the beach. The beach? No prob, Bob. Oh, uh, yeah, we like the beach. Oh. <gasps> I wish we were going to the beach, too. We could build sandcastles. You can all come. Yes, a day at the beach for everyone. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Cool! Well, Brad, we'll be building your lifeguard tower today. Oh, radical, Bob. I'll be able to see for miles from the top of it and spot anyone who gets in trouble. Yes, the beach will be really safe. Wow! Can I have some of this driftwood, Brad? Help yourself, Muck. It was all going to be recycled anyway. Thanks! I'm gonna make a driftwood castle. Even better than a sand castle. Oh, I have a great idea. Let's all build a sand castle together. Oh, oh all yeah! right! Do you mind if I build my own castle? Oh, well, I guess not, Muck. Do you have a special idea? <laughs> yeah! It's gonna be the best castle ever! Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Yeah! Let's look at the job. First, we build the tower down on the ground. <laughs> then we make a ladder to climb up it. <laughs> Next, we build the platform where Brad will sit. Then we dig out the foundations. And last of all, we lift up the tower. Radical! Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Awesome job, dudes! Thanks, Brad. Should we check where we're gonna dig the foundations? Good idea, Wendy. Hey, Scoop! Too bad you won't be building castles with us. You're lucky I'm not, Muck. You know I'm the best at building castles. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. The tower is going to be tall, so we'll need to make the foundation strong with big boulders. That sounds awesome. Hmm. But Scoop can only carry two boulders at a time. Scoop? Muck? Yes, Bob? Muck, you can carry a lot more boulders than Scoop, so we need your help. Oh, okay, Bob. So you don't need me anymore? 
No scoop. <laughs> you can go and make sand castles with the others. Okay, best castle ever. Here I come. But I was gonna build the best one. Maybe I can do my job and build my castle. Yes. Okay, Muck and Lofty. I need you to get those boulders from the supplies yard, please. Okay, Bob. Oh, all right, Bob. Here you go, Lofty partner. Can you put in three extra boulders, please, Grabber? Okay, Mud Partner. What are they for? For my castle, so it has a strong foundation like Brad's tower. Thanks, Grabber. Oh, uh, thanks, Grabber. I'll put these here so I know they're my extra castle boulders. Uh but that's where we're going to build part of our sand castle. Oh, uh, can you build it in front? No problem. Oh, this looks as solid as a rock. It certainly is, Brad. Yeah! Yeah! What was that? Yeah! Oh, their sandcastle is even better than I thought it would be. Me too. Nice castle, everybody! Thanks, Thanks Muck! Now I just need a chance to build my even better castle. Um, dudes, I just thought I'm going to be sitting up there in the blazing sun all day long. So you'll need some kind of sunshade, won't you? Totally. Muck, a lofty. We're just gonna make a sunshade. Won't take long. Hey, maybe they'll take long enough for me to build my castle. I'll build it here, and I want it to be really tall, like Brad's tower. So uh, I'll need those extra boulders for the foundation. Uh, uh oh, where did I put them again? Hey, I must have put them in the tower foundation by mistake. Ooh. Oh, uh, wait, Muck, are you sure you put them in there? Of course. I can't see them anywhere else. Can you? Uh, no. Right. So, I'm building my castle. Ta-da! Oh, Muck. It's really, really good. Yeah, I think it is. Thanks, Lofty. Hey, everybody. We figured out Brad's sunshade. Where is it? Right here, dudes. That'll keep the sun off. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Brad, time to try it out. You betcha. Check it out! This is the coolest lifeguard tower ever! <sighs> uh, dudes, it seems kind of wobbly. <gasps> um, is this supposed to happen? Muck, scoop! The tower! <gasps> Lofty, help Brad down! <gasps> I can't reach! Maybe I can swing back. <laughs> Maybe not. I'll just stay here. I'm sure I put enough boulders in the foundation. I even tested it. Oh, uh, are these your extra boulders, Mock? But that means the boulders I took out of the tower foundation are supposed to be in the tower foundation. Oh, no! You took boulders out of the foundation, Muck? I'm sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. But <gasps> I can fix it. Rolly, hold the tower for me. What are you doing, Muck? <gasps> she knocked down her castle. I need this stuff to make a ramp. So Lofty can reach Brad. Good thinking, Muck. I'm still here, dudes. 
Kinda. Now I'll fix the tower foundation so it's safe and strong. Now I'm ready to go back up my lifeguard tower. <gasps> Something's in trouble! Oh no! What, Brad? <laughs> Your castle, dude. It needs rebuilding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi there. It's me again, Scratch. I really love my garage door. <laughs> All of Bob's machines have their own door. And they all go up and over and over and down. Except for one. The machine who lives in here is too big to have just one door like all the rest of us. He's so big, he needs two doors on his garage. Would you like to meet him? crane. That means he has a long arm that he uses to pick things up. Don't you, Lofty? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Lofty's arm is really long, isn't it? And what does it have on the end? A hook! That's really good for picking things up. What could you pick up to show everyone, Lofty? <laughs> You'll see. Whoa! Hey! What's happening? <laughs> I'm picking you up, Scratch. Oh, yes. But, um, I don't think I want you to. Oh, uh, okay then. <sighs> Phew. <laughs> now you've all met Lofty! But there are still some more of my friends to meet. See you soon! Bye! Bob to team, I need you at the yard. Scoop to Bob, we're on our way. I'll be there first. Huh? No, I will. First? I want to be first. Here comes Bob. Maybe we'll be first, Scratch. No, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm first! Yay! Ho ho! Hi, Mom! Huh? Oh, I really wanted to be first. Okay, team. Today, we're going to rebuild the yard. <gasps> Starting with new garages for you guys. New garages? Yes. Look, I'll show you. First, we'll take out your old sheds. <laughs> then, we'll dig foundations. <laughs> then, we'll put up the new garages. <laughs> and last, we'll put on the doors. <laughs> wow! They look brilliant, Bob. Especially those doors. I can't wait to drive out through mine. I wasn't the first in the yard, but maybe... I can be first out of my new door. Everyone will be really surprised. Come on, team. Let's get started. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. I really want to be first out of my door. And I've thought of a good way to practice. <clears throat> so, uh, let me get this straight. Uh, you want to use my door, Muck, but you're too big to fit through it. I know, Mr. Bentley. I'm just gonna pretend. But I want you to slam it shut so I hear the sound of a door. Oh, 
Okay, Mock. Here goes. And again. Here comes Mock. Oh, no, 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 no. All this slamming is way too loud. Oh, well, I guess the garage doors won't really slam anyway. They go up and over. I'll find another way to practice. Hello, Bob. Are all the old sheds ready? Yes, Farmer Pickles. Can you load one onto Travis, please, Lofty? Oh, uh, okay, Bob. Uh, why do you want our old sheds, Farmer Pickles? Well, I want them for my pigs to sleep in, Dizzy. They'll be ever so cozy. Okay, here we go, Travis. Pigs? In our old sheds? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll come out of the old doors really fast. <laughs> First piggy out, oink, oink. Hey, I've been thinking, what if we all come out together? Oh, yes, yeah, Scoop. That'd look great. Rock and roll. Come out as a team. There. Here comes Mott. Oh. <sighs> I can't wait to be first out of my real door. Everyone's going to be so surprised. Hello, Muck. What are you doing? Oh, nothing, Travis. Um, but what are you doing with my old shed? Farmer Pickles wants his pigs to live in it, in this field. Oh, I just had another idea how to practice. So you're all coming out together? That's right, Wendy. We're the team! It'll be wonderful. But we better put those doors on first. Lofty, Scoop, can you get them from the supplies yard, please? No problem, Bob. Here comes Muck, first out the door. The fastest machine, just hear me roar. One more time. Here comes Muck. What was that? <gasps> oh no! The door has sunk in the mud! I can't get out! And no one knows I'm here! We're the team! Lofty, do you think we should say anything else when we come out? Ooh! Like what, Scoop? Here comes Muck. First out the door. But I won't be coming through any doors at all. I should have just stayed with my friends. We could have all come out together. No one's first. No one's last. We're all great. Yeah, we're all fast. Here we come. Here comes. The team, the huh? best machines you've ever seen. <gasps> Lofty, did you hear that? Oh, uh, that will be just right for us to sing when we come out. Yeah, but it's being sung by a shed. Hello, Mr. Shed. Uh, we really like your song, Mr. Shed. Can we use it? Scoop! Lofty, it's me, Muck! Muck? I can't get out. I'm stuck. Stay here, Muck. We'll get help. Okay, Lofty, lift away. Muck, you're free. But what were you doing inside your old shed? Oh, Bob. I wanted to be first out of my new garage door. So I was practicing. But I got stuck, and oh, I wish we were all just coming through our doors together. Oh, but that is what we're going to do. We're all going to come out as a team. Really? Yeah, and that song you were singing was really good. 
It's perfect for us to sing when we all come out of our new doors. And you're coming out with us, Mutt. I am. Yeah, because you're part of the team. We're going to look amazing! Just like our new garages. Hello, everybody! Thanks for coming. And here are the new machine garages. Yay! And here are my amazing machines. No one's first, no one's last. We're all great, yeah, we're all fast. Here we come, here comes the team. The best machines you've ever seen. Sure, you wouldn't like to come through your door first, Muck? Just once? No way, Dizzy. We're a team. And that's the best way to come through a door ever. <laughs> spinny, spinny, spin. Spinny, spinny, spin. Did you see me spinning? <laughs> there is one machine on Bob's team who spins her drum around all the time. Dizzy! Hello, everyone. Dizzy has a really important job on Bob's team. See the part of Dizzy that's spinning round? That's her drum. And I use it to mix something up. It's funny stuff. It starts off all soft and runny, like this. Scratch? Oops, sorry, Dizzy. Anyway, it starts off all soft, like I said, but if we wait just a minute. Do, 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 Oh, good! See? The concrete's not soft and runny now. It's gonna hard. Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> Concrete's useful for all sorts of things. And that's why Spinny Dizzy's so important to Bob's tea. <laughs> Back scratch. So, that's Dizzy. There's just one more of my friends to meet. See you soon. Bye. Scrambler, we're building a new machine wash today. Awesome! What will it be like? Brilliant! The machine wash will blast us with soapy water. And scrub us all over with huge brushes. And blast us again with hot air. Cool, huh, Scrambler? Huh? Yeah, uh, cool. Uh, oh no. It doesn't sound cool. It sounds kind of scary. Okay, team. Let's go over the build. First, we'll dig and pour the foundations. Then, we'll build the walls and roof. Next, we'll put the water tank on the roof. And last of all, we'll install the plumbing. Delivery! Hi, Packer! Let's get everything unloaded, please. No problem, Bob! Right away, Bob! Have you ever 
seen a machine wash before, Packer? Oh, yeah, Scrambler. They blast you with water and scrub you and... I know. Can they clean machines gently, too? No. Machines need blasting and scrubbing. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> I suppose so. <gasps> Whoa! Those are big brushes. That's a massive water tank, Bob! Yes, Scrambler. To hold plenty of water for long, long washes. Long washes? Great, I think. Happy scrubbing! Bye, everybody! There's no way I'm getting washed! It's just too scary! Um, Bob, are all the machines going into the wash? Oh, yes, Scrambler. You'll love it! But what if one of the machines is all shiny and clean? <laughs> well, I suppose that machine would only have a wash if he needed one. But don't worry, Scrambler. There's plenty of time for you to get dirty. <laughs> you won't miss out. I just need to stay clean and shiny. Then I won't have to get washed. Okay, team. Let's get started. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. to have a wash, <laughs> but I don't need a wash. Don't you want to try out the new machine wash scrambler? Yeah, uh, but I'm just too clean and shiny. Uh, it's a shame. You can have a wash anyway. Oh, no. I'll, um, save it for when I'm really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Coming through! <laughs> Whoa! That wood was muddy. Excuse me! That was close. Who? Yes! Scrambler, the fastest machine, and fix him! No dirty splash is gonna get me! Uh. Wow! That was too close. Maybe I should just stay out of the way. Why are you staying all the way over here? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just, um, I can see everyone working from here. Uh... Um, well, okay. Phew. Um, I'll be with you soon. Staying clean is a lot harder than I thought. Building is messy work. But I can't stay here the whole time. I have to help the others. Hmm. The shower head isn't here. It must still be at the supplier's yard. Bob will need someone to go and get it. I can get the shower head for you, Bob. Oh, thank you, Scrambler. You're welcome, Bob. Anything to be useful. And to stay clean. so smart for getting away from the messy build. Not that I'm running away. I'm still the bravest machine ever. Whoa! Muddy puddles. Yep, we've been washing things down, Scrambler partner. And now we're gonna have a mud fight. You wanna play, partner? No. Um, I have to get this shower head back to Bob, but thanks. Okay, okay bye, bye, partner. Let's take the fun way back. Scrambler races over big hills again! Meow! He zooms through forests again! Oh, money bottle! Whoa! Oh, oh no! The shower head! No, no, no! Bob needs the shower head, but if I get it, I'll get dirty and need a wash. A scary, scary wash. Oh, oh. I know. I'll ask someone else to get it for me. 
Kind of muddy. But you'll be clean soon once the shower head's installed and the machine wash is finished. All ready to go. And since you're the dirtiest scrambler, you can be first to have a wash. Um, I can't because I'm scared. Why are you scared, scrambler? Because of all the scrubbing and blasting, it sounds scary. I thought I was brave, but I'm not. No, Scrambler, you are brave. Brave to say that you're scared. Really? Very brave. Yeah, of course. Wow. I suppose saying you're scared is kind of brave. Do you want me to have the first wash so you can see it's okay? No, thanks, Scoop. I can do it. I'm brave. I am. I am. I'm the bravest ever. Oh, here goes. Yay! Was it scary, Scrambler? No, it was fun. The scrubbing and the blasting kind of tickled. And you know what? What? Oh. <laughs> it was so much fun. I need to have another wash right now. Yay! <laughs> Hi there. It's Scratch here again. We've met lots of my friends, haven't we? But there's still one more friend we haven't seen. Rock and roll! <laughs> it's Rolly! I love it when he says, rock and roll! We can all say it together if you like. Oh, yes, let's! Ready? Rock and roll! Do you know why Rolly says that? Well, there are two reasons. I'm doing one of them now. Yes, he's rolling! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I roll things flat so Bob can build on top. But what's the other reason, little Scratchy? <laughs> oh, uh, I can't remember. Ah. I'll show you. When Rolly rolls, he rolls it flat. Rock and roll, yeah, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The other reason Rolly says rock and roll is because he likes singing. Yeah, rock and roll music. Come on. Rolly rolls and he sings. And there's one more really exciting thing about him. Come and see your Uncle Rolly. It's his special friends. Here they come. Aww. Rolly's special friends are the animals. There goes Rolly and his animal friends. Now you've met all my machine friends. And you're all my friends, too. Bye!
Thank you.